Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to discuss or I want to teach you guys OPT strategy using for our. I have promised to release this video. And the reason why I'm doing this is because this is one of the strategies that is simple and it is profitable. So if you're willing to scale in your trading journey, if you're willing to at least start making profits, be my guest. Make sure you watch this video to the end and I promise you, you will learn something. So you need to understand that OPT strategy requires you to compare two time frames. So I will do OPT strategy using four hour and then the other, uh, the other videos, it will be OPT strategy using daily, using weekly, using 15 minutes. So I want you to comment down below, which time frame would you want me to, to start with? Do you want me to do OPT strategy using five minutes? OPT strategy using 15 minutes? Do you want me 30? Do you want one hour? We can do all these videos, but majority of whoever will comment, if majority are asking for daily, I will pick daily. If majority are doing weekly, I will do weekly. So yeah, so make sure you comment down below. So one thing you need to understand, if you are analyzing on four hour, so let's say analysis should be on at that specific time frame analysis so this is the time frame for analysis and then where you're going to check opt is the higher time frame so if analysis i'm doing on four hour where i will go to check opt will be daily so that's that's the difference guys so i will be analyzing on four hour but i'm checking opt on the daily so if you analyze it on another time frame, I'll do a video trying to explain. So what you need to do as you follow through, you need to open your, your four hour, you open your four hour chart like this. And then what will you be looking? This analysis, what are you looking? You are looking for only two patterns, either a double top or a double bottom. Those are the things that you're looking. A double top or a double bottom. So you are looking either for a double top or a double bottom. Now, if you are looking for double top or a double bottom, now you have to understand that the criteria of a double top, the criteria of the standard, how you enter, how do you enter a double top or a double bottom? We use CSB strategy or CRB strategy. So when we come to CSB, this is a double top. So this CSB is for double top. And CRB is for the double bottom. Double top. And the CRB is for the double bottom. So I hope that one you are clear. So we are starting from if OPT strategy, we want to use the four hour and four hour time frame. We use the four hour for analysis. Daily is where we are checking OPT. OPT means one pattern on one time frame. Then what are these analysis that we want? It's double top or double bottom. Then if this double top or double bottom, how, which strategy will we use to enter? Either CSB strategy for the double top, CRB strategy for the double bottom. CSB means current support break. CRB means current resistance break. So in this case, I have this double bottom. You can see this is a double bottom, very visible, a double bottom. You understand a double bottom is created by two support zones. How is support created? When a red candle is followed by a green candle. I keep repeating that. So here I have my first support and then here I have my second support. And then I will mark my neckline and then I will mark my half. I will go mark my half. So I have a neckline, I have a half, and I have the double bottom. Once I have this, now the four hours is for analysis. Now, before I continue, I need to check if it's OPT. You need to understand if it is four hours, you go to higher time frame, and that is daily. So I'll go to the daily and check if it is OPT. How is it in OPT? The first, the first attempt is we don't have a support that is what we mean opt so if they i don't have a support automatically that is opt for me so i am 
I am so confident to trade this market. So what I will be uh, what I will be now looking for is CRB, guys. CRB. I will be looking for CRB current resistance break. So how is resistance formed again? Resistance is created when a green candle is followed by a red candle. Anytime you want a resistance, you need this green candle next followed by a red candle. That's how resistance is created. So anytime you want to say, this is my resistance, you need to see that green followed by red. So here, I don't have a green followed by red. So that's what I'm looking for. So I will be looking for green followed by red. You can see I already have a resistance now. When I come and I place at the week, at the top of the week, I want my resistance to be broken at the top of that week. That's how I want that resistance to be broken. If I want the resistance to be broken, you will see what will happen. You can see the resistance is not breaking. And again, something else you need to understand, the market should not violate like that. If the market violates, it violates this double bottom and you can never trade it. So I'll be waiting for the market either to break to break my resistance. You can see we have a new resistance created. So we will be looking for current resistance. So I have a new resistance created and you can see I will be waiting again for that resistance to be broken. So you can see at the end of the day, even if I adjust that resistance, it has been broken. That's how we trade OPT strategy. If at all you will be, uh, you will enter that trade Let's see how much you would have made. So the first take profit, again, for double bottoms, it has four take profits. The first take profit is to the half. The second take profit is to the neckline. The third take profit is to the distance of the half and the last take profit. So let's see if the market reached, it reached the take profit one. We continue, we wait for the market to break. Did it break half? Yes. So will it go to the neckline? Let's see what happened. So you can see the market has, has gone to the neckline. So let's start again. Don't know if it was hanging. So you can see how the market behaved. It hit the neckline. And if at all you want to attempt to see, did it? finish the whole distance. That's what the scope it is all about. It finished the full distance. Thank you so much guys for watching. I would always encourage you to try OPT strategy. It has been my one of the best strategy ever to discover that if you have OPT strategy, you can make a lot of money. So from TP1, you made, let's see, from TP1, you made, $37. From TP2, which is the neckline, you made $110. From TP2 to TP3, if you continued, $130. And the last one, if you continued, you'd have made $109. That's a lot of money, guys. OPT strategy is the best. Try it today and you will never regret. You will be making money uh, consistently and at least you will hit your weekly target. All the best, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.